the transition of government in Nigeria has been an age-long battle between the older and the younger generation. Why many believe that it is time for new leadership spearheaded by youth in Nigeria, the big question is will the struggle continue or will power finally be transmitted freely? Watch Shegun Olonade, MD CEO Confluence Rice, as he discussed the challenges and how necessary it is for youth to unite in taking charge of their destiny in 2023 elections. Tell us how you have empowered women. Tell us how you have dealt with insecurity in your, in your enclaves. And if you are not, uh, uh, you know, a, a current governor and you are still a leader, mm. tell us all the things that you have done to ensure that Nigeria is safe. I mean, if a leader can go to Dubai or go to London and buy a big house and, you know, do a lot of things, what stops you from creating industries that will empower a lot of youths? What stops you from empowering the, uh, the securities and the uh, local communities to ensure that your community is secured. Nothing is stopping you from engaging to make a positive impact. Mm -hmm. So what we are saying is that don't just select a leader for us. Let there be a proper transparent process whereby before your presidential ticket is given to any leader, that leader has proved to us Nigerians that they are fit for the job. That they have the energy. Let them even stand for one hour and talk to us. Because sometimes, you know, when you listen to some of these leaders, these old lad generation leaders that wants to vie for the seat of presidency, you can hardly even hear them when they talk. Even though you are not deaf, you will still need an hearing aid <laughs> to hear them. They struggle to talk, they struggle to stand, and they want to lead a country so complex like Nigeria, look at the level of our insecurity, look at the level of the problems and anarchy that we have in the country, the level of uh, how unemployment has dropped, education, we have a lot of problems and we need a leader that has the energy. Energy is very, very important. Vital. It's very vital when it comes to selecting our next leader. We, need, we also need somebody that understands the problem of our time and what that means is that we need a youth of our time we need to understand as as youth like whatever i am doing hmm. towards uh, the betterment of our nation and our generation i'm not i'm not doing it to favor you okay i'm doing it to favor my generation my children and the generation to come Okay. That's one thing we need to understand. Let's not feel that if we talk about youth leadership, we are doing one particular person a favor. Yeah. Let's, you know, let's take that mentality away mm. because this particular mentality has been affecting us as youths. Mm. Like I said, we don't like each other. When you see a youth doing well, you always find a way to bring that youth down. So we need to remove this mentality going into 2023. Okay. And we need to understand that if we are talking of youth leadership, we are talking of a youth that can handle the problem of our time. Hmm. And also, we need to also let our leaders know that it cannot be business as usual in terms of the way that they select their leaders. There should be a proper leadership selection process in the major parties. And I'm challenging APC and PDP on this. If you are going to select a leader, allow those leaders a day to engage with the delegates. Let them discuss. If I'm talking of the presidential ticket here because this is the most important ticket. Okay. Don't just sit down in your meetings and then decide that this is who we are going to give it to. And then the younger generation must accept. First, we are saying include us in this selection process. Allow a proper selection process where our leaders will stand on the podium and tell us the reason why they should be handed the presidential tickets in the parties. Tell us how you have united the country. Tell us how you have empowered the youth and you have included the youth in your leadership process. 
address this debtor mentality, especially uh, to disabuse the mind of the youth, you know, to begin to look away from that and look straight into the future, look straight into what matters, which is building a formidable future for themselves and for the generation after. Our Nigerian youth need to remember that anytime they look in the mirror, whatever they see, right, mm. is what they need to support. If you are looking in the mirror and you are seeing a young man, you need to support a young man. Mean you need to support your own. Mm. Going into 2023, Nigerian youth have a date with destiny. I'm talking about the 40s generation, the 30s generation, mm. and the 20s generation. 